day two of our inquiry synthesis project. So here we're back on our research database on the left hand side. So we need to go back and find our topic under ethics here and then animal experimentation. So today we're just going to focus on source number one. We need to complete quotes for pro and quotes for con. Notice the last option here highlighted in red means we can complete that for a higher grade. But because we're doing this video together, we're just going to focus on two. So as we read, we need to listen for comments that sound to be pro and comments that sound to be con. So let's click on our first article here, testing drugs. And again, as we read through, if we hear anything that is positive or negative, we'll put it here on the topic of testing animals. So it says the US Food and Drug Administration should stop requiring pharmaceutical companies to perform long, costly dog tests for the drug approval process. So here is, sounds like a pro because it talks about how the process is too long and costly. So we're gonna copy that and we're gonna paste it over here. And we don't have page numbers here, but we do, maybe we could write page number one since it's online, but we'll put first paragraph in case we ever need to go back and look for it. Okay, let's keep going. It says, so a Congressional Appropriations Committee told the agency last week the 2021 FDA spending bills directs the agency to explain how companies can avoid dog testing in favor of human relevant alternative test methods. This is an important step. Let's keep going. Common arguments against the FDA's dog testing mandate range from the heart tugging that is inhumane to the shocking, that it has its origins in Nazi inspired methods of experimentation. So again, here's a, another pro that it's inhumane. It's based off of the Nazis. So let's put page number one again. This is the second paragraph. And we'll go ahead and paste that quote here. All right, so our pro is actually done. Um, I do want to highlight here the two things that stood out to us. So it's long and costly, right? So I want to highlight that. And it's also inhumane, Nazi inspired. Okay, so now let's try to see if we can figure out some cons. Again, this probably seems more like a pro article, but there might be some cons. There are some reasons why people think it's okay to test on animals. Here it says animals also lack scientific basis. Okay, that sounds like a pro. The National Institute of Health reports that about 30% of drugs that pass animal tests are found to be toxic to humans. While another 60% fail because they aren't effective. So maybe we could use this towards a con. I mean, 30%, that's not too bad, right? So this could explain a con of why people think it's okay to test humans. I mean, 30%, it's not that bad. So again, after our page number, we wanna mark down that it's the second paragraph and we're highlighting here the 30% because it's not that bad. Okay, forcing drug companies to perform dog tests is also bad for business. Pharmaceutical companies have a responsibility to use methods that meet patients' needs by identifying safe and effective drugs. To be financially viable, they must balance costs with benefits. Tests on humans are the most expensive part of drug development. Okay. 
Okay, so here we can also use this a con. Tests on humans are our most expensive part of development. So perhaps testing on animals is a cheaper method to do so. So let's put that in here, page number one. Again, this is in the second paragraph still. And we'll paste that in there. And again, we're highlighting tests on humans are the most expensive. All right, so source one is done. We've got both quotes in there. 